fake Major, that goes with the uh with the clip that we was talking about on the Instagram with the two dudes, one rich guy, one oh, well, let's one you might as well slide guy. on it too. Poor, but that's the middle class. Yeah. Let's let's yeah. go ahead and slide into it. Uh there's a big debate on Instagram. A brother that said that he was comfortable with his him and his girl going fifty fifty. Another brother saying that if you ain't paying a hundred percent, you ain't you ain't on point all the way as a man. So oh, I'm not a man if I'm going fifty fifty with my woman. Mm. It's hard, brother. Mm. You sitting up here, your nice house, your nice jewelry, nice cars. Oh yeah, man. You you gotta you gotta be you gotta do a hundred percent. How mm. how, brother? Mm. If I'm making fourteen dollars an hour, what you what you expect? Mm. Mm. You know, you still on there? Oh yeah, man, hundred uh, percent. You're not a man. You're not a man. How? Mm. I'm still working. Mm. I'm still providing, right? Mm. So what makes me not a man? Mm. Cause I'm going fifty fifty with my woman. Mm. Mm. And brother, I applaud you because I understand that it is hard out here, but we are men, so we have to go hard, dirt. I'm not saying or trying to speak down to you, my brother, by any means necessary, I'm not. But I want you to be reminded of something that our fathers didn't teach us, that we must go hard and that we shouldn't get into a relationship with a woman until we have direction. Who am I to tell you this? A man that's been in your position, a man that has risen above your circumstances. And I'm coming back down to say, this is what you do. You're not a man until you move like this. Most males will die, never experience what it feels to be a man and to be complete respected by his women and children because he didn't step into that true king place. Her cooking every I night. don't have her doing anything. She does it because she wants to. We in the trenches together. The trenches together? That's what we in. Brother, do you know anything about emotional abuse? Explain it. Emotional abuse is when you pour all your hurt and pain onto a woman, and just because you can't see her scars, you think it's okay. If I had a conversation with your woman, she'll probably start crying. They tired. They not built to go through what they, they're going through with you. She didn't choose you to struggle. But again, who are you to say that? Brother, a brother that loves you. And again, I'm trying to give you the cheat code. If you put yourself in a position, right, you work. If you have to get two jobs, if you have to get two jobs, you grind, allow your woman to do what she does in the home. If you have a business idea, you have her nurture that, hey, baby, it's going to be a little hard for the next two years. But if we move like this, we're going to be good. You keep saying, who am I to... Cool. That's the thing, man. It's just so many things to unpack. Like, when do we? Wh where did it come? The thing with what's labeled this is what makes you a man. This is what makes you a man. It's I've that been that point. way for a long ass time. And then, and then, <laughs> you know, it's been like that shit. I know, but long it's before like, I was born, shit. It's just, it's, it's just like, <laughs> for a long like, like time. What, what determines that? God but damn. Also, also, we don't know nothing about. Uh, that's buddy. like the caveman days, nigga. But I'm just saying, we, we don't know nothing about Buddy when he was just like, you know what I'm saying, we, we got 50 50, we got shit that we working for us. Well, you know, yo, your wife ain't happy, and you know what I'm saying, like, I could talk to her, and it's like, what the fuck is you trying to prove, my boy? Because I know if I was, uh, if I was, dude, I'd be like, well, well shit, it seems like you got all the answers, and you want to help out, go ahead and drop us 5K real quick. That, that'll help us out real good. You know what I'm saying? I could bring that home. We could, you know what I'm saying, do some, do some investments, but. I just, I hate niggas that be like, you know what I'm saying, I can teach you how to make some money, or he wasn't even giving him no, no solutions for real, but he was just like, yo, you know, you got to go out there and do what you got to do. How you know, how you know that man not doing what he can do within the within the realm of his mental capability? That goes back to that. Like, you don't know yeah. what thing was that man got, you telling that man to go get three, four, five jobs, now he done went fucking crazy, shot up the joint, now he in jail, now, now, now the woman got to raise the kids by herself. You know what I'm saying? We got to think about how we just start like charging people with doing shit. Like, that, damn it! I mean, you gotta, you gotta hustle. You gotta grind. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a total understanding person about that. Like, I'm, I'm definitely knowing about flipping the dollar. But at the same time, you gotta be able to know what's in the realm of what you can do. Because if you giving so much of yourself to the dollar, and not to your family, then what, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what's, what's it for? You know what I mean? So. Buddy that was talking about this whole like yeah you're not a man and you know he had some good points about you know doing what you got to do and you know what I'm saying come up with a business idea that shit takes money it's easy to say follow if you follow my plan for a year you'll be a millionaire but I mean shit nigga rents due tomorrow so what we gonna do about that you know what I'm saying so I mean I didn't mean to go off on the bro you good yeah. no you good uh, 
this is one of those situations to where the measure of a man and and his marriage should not be based on his finances. Right. Because you could be a dude that pays for everything and you beat your wife and treat her like shit. And Facts. she got an allowance and she exactly. can't do shit and she feel trapped because she can't do nothing, which was kind of how shit was back in the day mm-hmm. when women couldn't even have bank accounts and shit like that. When men, they, they had like they were the providers because they had to be. Yeah. Every man wants to be a provider for his woman mm-hmm. and his children. But you can provide in other ways than just finances. Yeah. If your lady is working too, you can help out more at the house. Take the kids to this, do that. There's other things you can do. Like, um, I guess, the roles aren't as rigid as they used to be. Yeah. Gender roles. That's why I was yeah, looking at Yeah, I mean, because women, women are making the same amount, if not more money now. And I mean, granted, there's still a lot of loopholes for women to go through that men don't have to go through. But at the same time, like, when you're talking about, when you're talking about this brother who is, 14, I don't know how much he was making an hour, whatever money he was making an hour. Like, my question to him would be like, okay, well, you got a man in front of you who's clearly well off. <laughs> Ask that man for some bread. You know what I'm saying? Put it to the fire. You got you got these millions and millions of dollars. Yo, hey, drop me 50000 there, bro, since you got it. You see do, what I'm saying? We do, in your house. We looking good. Give me some bread then. Do you know how many men have worked themselves to death? Facts. Never came to their son's Facts. basketball game. Facts. Never went to their daughter's dance recital. Bruh. Was not present in the house at all, but yeah. the family was taken care of, but not emotionally. Financially, they were good, but emotionally, they had no attachment to their fathers. Yeah. Emotional availability is something that we just like that, that it gets forgotten in the grind and the hustle. Like, yes, you love a you love a person that grinds, you love a person that hustles, and then when they come home, they trying to decompress so much that they that they a fucking statue, and you wonder why you can't talk to them because. They don't put so much effort into going hey, outside man, the home and producing. Some of the worst shit I hear that I cannot stand is, I don't sleep, I got to get to the money. Nigga, you're going to die at 50. Yeah. Take your ass, go to fucking <laughs> yes. bed, nigga. Take a nap. It's yeah. okay to rest. Yeah. Hug your fucking son, dog. Like you always and, but, grinded. And, and, and on the other, but on the other side, I get it because it's like, shit, like, if, if I if I don't grind Monday and Tuesday, nigga, we we ain't gotta we ain't gonna eat by Wednesday. So I get Oh it. nigga, we but but but, but understand, we know understand, yeah, but like again, understanding your resources and knowing how you talking to somebody is important because again, if you come to me talking about some, you know what I'm saying, like like you you know, you you being a what he what he say, emotional abusive or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, how am I being abusive? Explain that to me. Because from your point of view, you're talking you're talking about I'm taking advantage. When my kids are fed She's working, I'm working, and it's clearly it's it's clear that you have to damn near make what a hundred fifty thousand dollars just to just to be considered what regular class. So shit, I mean no, no. But not, what were oh, they saying though? They said you gotta make at least a hundred fifty k no to be considered like to be considered to be surviving in today's economy. No, that's in New York or California. <laughs> Maybe so. Not anywhere else in the other forty eight states. I feel, I feel that, 150k you're living it, more than comfortable you're in, you're in the top 12 percent of the population you make it over 100k period so then with old buddy there right when he was just like talking about giving ideas and you know you should you got to go work yeah no no no, no no to me this is my opinion though a lot of times when cats be on some shit like that they be on some i want to control my chick with the bread and like I want to trap her and not give her any choices of how she can move or how she can have any choice because I didn't trap her because my bread is everything. And the whole thing is that means she has no decision making in general. She you can make it like she wants to be or is be, but you know what? In any one time that she go out of line and be like, oh, I ain't messing with that. You oh you you ain't fin- you know I pay for everything up in here. Yeah, I, your what whole you finna, life is based what you off finna of go? me. What you finna do? And, yeah. it, and, 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 you and somewhat and, and somewhat to me that's some sucker shit yeah. to me because you gotta always give a woman a choice yeah. period of how they want to move yeah and, and that, I feel like the money sometimes even though women don't know that they don't get the trick bag they don't get the trap door yeah. of how that can take their ability yeah. for choice out yeah and nice. do take advantage of the women that aren't intelligent enough to understand that if that mm-hmm. makes sense yeah like every household is different yep some women want to be stay home moms mm-hmm. And their husbands make enough for them to do that, or their men, yeah. you know, whatever. Some women want to work, 
And you should have the choice of what you want to do. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm gonna be real. Like it's a if I make if I made enough, yo shit. Yeah, I you remember too. You remember when when Amber uh, after we had the baby? Yeah, because she was at the crib for me. Yeah, she yeah. like did had to work, and yeah. and I worked. And, you had to and, hold and, it down, and yeah. we made it work. Yeah. And when she was like, "Nigga, I'm, shit, I'm ready to go back to work." Shit, fuck, I look like saying. That. Yeah. <laughs> so, some, let me free up some of my pockets a little bit. Hey, I, I did, I did want to go give me a drink real quick because your pockets was tight. For sure, for sure. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> right, no. right, nigga, you can't even go get just a regular. Drink I had some in the Michael ball. Jackson pants on. The motherfuckers were so tight, <laughs> but we was making it. But right. I mean, but again, you don't know anybody struggle. Because we don't share our struggles. Yeah. We share our success. We share our triumphs. Yeah. Social media will have you thinking everybody's life is, is sunshine and roses. And when in reality, they don't see the dark side of the moon. And I want to ask y'all this question though. Do y'all think most people are capped with the whole ideas of everything that has been going through like with the dates? We talking about the, the oyster dates. We talk about the hundred yeah, K yeah, dudes. Yeah. I've been a broke dude for a long I was a broke dude for a nice amount of my life till I was able to get myself up on my feet. D. And I was, I was, I was too, still getting it bro, in I was, as I, much as possible. I was out and of nobody school. was challenging me on my financial situation. Bro, this whole D, thing about I was out of school, of bro, with I'm two jobs. Right now, Cheesecake Factory is fire. It's that brown bread, though. Whatever yeah. that brown but, bread. But the other thing I'm saying, like people just saying this is to be saying it, but they don't practice it. Yeah, I mean, there are some people who, who sure probably do. I'm sure but it is. It's follow the leader. Social media is all about follow the leader. But then you get they say this shit whack. Oh, this shit whack now. But then you get into what's what's acceptable versus what isn't. Like you know what I'm saying? Like if you get into a situation with a with a person that you want to date or, or, or talk to, and you realizing that one thing. Matter of fact, going even back to what Buddy said, where that did make sense. He was like, as as a man, you can't like if you don't have it all together, you can't put yourself into a relationship. Meaning that I do agree with that. Like yes. if you don't have your finances together, you as yes. a man, as a human being, oh, fucking. Yeah. Whether man or woman, have you identify? Like you can't jump into a relationship because everything is going to be based around like, okay, we got a nickel and dime this, nickel and dime that, and that's cool if you, you know, what I'm saying if y'all like, if y'all have an understanding and or just date on your level yeah, and level up yeah, together. Like, like Th- this is how shit gets fucked up. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. This is how shit gets fucked mm-hmm. up. Niggas want to date outside of what they probably should be dating. Yeah, you know how much you make a year. Yep. You know the stress that's going to come with this woman yep. that you want. Yep. If you but I'm going to try to get it. But, this but yeah. you either, if you're going to try to get it, be realistic be, with it. Yeah, man. The other side of that is these niggas that become jaded. And yeah. I hate women. And I'm going to do this. And with the, when I was broke, they didn't want me. No, nigga. You wanted a motherfucker that was used to living a certain way. Yeah. And you can't keep it. Or as the great Chris Rock said, women can't go backwards financially. Men can't go backwards sexually. Yeah, just get just exactly. get in line of what it is. Yeah, it's or, just what it is. If your dude is used to this, <laughs> at or some point he's gonna he, figure out how to get used, man. or he gonna have to get used yeah. to that. Or just be honest about what you can and can't do. Like if you listen, I'm I'm, I'm all about putting yourself out there. So oh, we but, know you are. Uh, here, here you go. That's how the Doja Ice came on originally. That's how the, the Doja Ice originally got on oh on the board. The original oh, episode. Oh, <laughs> You, I'm no, not gonna talk about the, it. The first live one. Yes, that's the first live it was the one. The first remember? live one where we talked about the DATE. Yes, and that's when it all kicked off. And shout out to a uh, bonefish. <laughs> I love. Hey, I'm glad bonefish went on the goddamn list. I love bonefish. Look, man, was, I, I man, want. I all want, I'm I, saying I, is, all for I'm the saying record, is, these all these restaurants should be marketing this using this stuff though. Thanks. In general, I would have had a real thing coming out, yeah. like literally had like a, a commercial on Instagram and all yeah, that, like people true. having people on dates. Yeah. yeah, they you, literally need. Why ain't nobody did this yet? <laughs> they need to have somebody that's monitoring Black Twitter or Black social media. Mm-hmm. They need to be like a dude that just works for those and, companies and, ha- and have a black couple coming like, man, we can get everything up in here though. Really, nigga, Cheesecake Factory got. Man, they got Thai. They, they got, got Italian. But they should be marketing this though, right? Yeah. I said, man, nigga, I, I, I have a whole. Why are they not marketing? I was kind of hurt. When I was like, damn, Cheesecake Factory. List. I love Cheesecake Factory, dog. Golly, nigga, you can go <laughs> eat. Boy, you go eat good forty dollars. I'm gonna take it to you another would, level. Have you been somewhere at a expensive restaurant? And you see somebody that's way young, too young to be there, and you like, 
Dog, I mean, why you at root, Chris? Dog, I'm 40 years old up in here, and I just got my I ain't gonna myself hold together. Hey, I only been root Chris one time, bro. Okay, that wasn't, not, 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 no, I'm that's just saying. Yeah. But have you seen somebody yeah. young in some like a restaurant? They should not be at D. like 25, 26 with a date, and you like, D. dog, yeah. you should not be, dog. Don't yeah. don't do this. Up until like the last maybe 10 years. I was a two job nigga. I was a day job nigga, <laughs> night job nigga. Yeah. Just because I didn't like really, I hate to say it, I st- I didn't like being broke. Yeah, no, I, I just did not like it. But it you see, not- y'all know this thing. Y'all seeing somebody yeah. young at somewhere yeah. that you oh, like, yeah. dude. Yeah, I'm a, a grown ass yeah. man up in here yeah. though. Dog, this isn't even though expensive restaurant. I just couldn't believe nobody was in there. I was at Basso once and was like. The fuck this nineteen year old nigga doing it? Yeah. Like, right, and then you like, damn, is it the pressure? Because we wouldn't go to no basso no. at nineteen. We knew that that's not the rivers and lakes we used to. Yeah, that's not TLC even no. told us, yeah. and maybe we need the TLC song. TLC. No, no, no TLC. That's, that's, that's the rivers and lakes that you used to. Yeah. I always think about stick to the rivers and <laughs> lakes that you're used to. Whenever I have tried, and listen, you can fake it only so much. <laughs> I have definitely went outside of like again. You go outside of. If, if, if everybody got a, a level they should be on, but you might meet somebody and you looking real fly that day and you might have just got paid, you can stunt that day. <laughs> like they met you on the right motherfucking day. <laughs> and, you, and, you, and you look at that cream. Yeah. You can look at that cream of the crop. No, I'm saying you, you, you met me. It's 2004. I'm at motherfucking Club 7 and I'm on. You like our club seven. And look, and you know people, you know the bounces. You got the feel like, and the look. I'm walking around. They like this nigga ain't paying for shit. He in he going from booth to booth. Like this nigga done got on stage. Like, hey, who man. is this nigga? 2004 sleep, you was a different nigga. <laughs> no. But it could be an I a, had the, the no assets me. in there. Nigga, I worked at Blockbuster, nigga. I had just got Shout off work. Blockbuster. Shout out Blockbuster. Nigga. I had just got off the work. Blockbuster King, nigga. You can <laughs> hey, you can get your whole before Netflix and chill. You call Sleepy for that deal. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm for real. I kept hey. them, I kept them laced with before the Before Netflix the and chill, you call Sleepy for the deal. Hey, what you got, bro? I got, I got popcorn, I got candy, I got this. I remember right here. the first time I had sushi and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Boy. I, a, a woman put me on that shit. Mm-hmm. I was a pri- listen, bro. I was eating hamburger helper with no fucking burger. <laughs> Nigga pockets were so tight. Just, just the, this, the, the, this is the helper. Just, yeah. just the motherfucking struggling off. We didn't have milk, nigga. Put the water in there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and make it work. Yup. I remember, so. man. And those I mean, nigga, we used to fake it till we make it. Hell yeah. But at some point, you can't fake it. Gas tank on. It's your girl, not like me. Not y'all a couple. Yeah. And she used to you stunting and shit like that. But it's an off week for your pay. <laughs> and the Same rent. Or, or or ain't no party of seven that's going on for you can come in there and stunt real quick. Yeah. Man, you say this. I, my thing is, bro. If you go, if you go, be man enough or person enough, whatever you want to call yourself enough to approach the person that you want to introduce yourself to. Have your shit together. Have your shit together, but then also falls in line with just being honest. You know what I'm saying? You might, you, hey, listen, be like, yo, we can't. We I ain't going to front, man. Can't I, make all, it this I, way. I always, I always try to, I ain't going to front. I always try to make that little 30, 40 yard uh, in route of, <laughs> of saying like, oh, so you vibing? But the vibe think. only going to last. I know, no, 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 but I had to get over Oh, you got to do learn. the base. And be like, this might just be a one. We no, just, no, 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 no. That's so I always try to do it. I always try to make it a, a, a quick, quick stint. We just hanging out for the. We hanging out for the right now. A, a shout out to Mace. I ain't here for a long time. I'm here for a good time. Shout out to Mace tonight. <laughs> well, Mace said. Mace said he said tonight. Not tomorrow. <laughs> he we said no. He's like no. I, I got something going on. He's like no, 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 no. Tonight nah. is our night. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if I'm gonna make it tomorrow. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. I mean, but again, it just comes back to communication. Just being honest. Like you can't put yourself in. You can't put yourself in a position if you know you can't ready ready to play that game. You see and what I'm saying? And it had to go back to the to the Tyrese thing too. No relationship gonna be the same. Just because Keisha and Lamar got this going on, don't mean that would even work in your house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like you know who you you know who you <coughs> with. At some point, you got to know who you with. Mm-hmm. And obviously, she knew she could get. I'm gonna go back to Joe Smith. The wife <laughs> got to know that she get away with the shit because they ain't divorced. Clip you just saw. Please tap in and check out. Just post it. We just kicking, talking that good shit, and we fuck with y'all, man. Y'all be easy.